my name is Caitlin. I'm a client lead from the SEO team. This is Mikey, a client lead from the social team. You may be wondering why we're aggressively matching each other today. <laughs> uh, this wasn't a coincidence. We're just super excited to be up here together. Um, because this talk, ladies and gentlemen, is a really big deal. <laughs> so for the first time ever, SEO and social are sharing the stage and talking about something together. Um, because over the last year, SEO and, uh, SEO and search, or social at Wolfgang, have had to combine their superpowers uh, and come up with a new strategy to navigate the new way of searching, uh, which is TikTok search. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So we're here in the home of search in Google's EMEA headquarters. And Google's really held the monopoly of the online search engine market since its launch. Um, you know, when we go to search something, we don't even say we're going to search it. We say we're going to Google it. It's literally a verb in the English dictionary. So it's pretty much been plain sailing for Google in terms of competition. Then come the end of 2022, Microsoft re released ChatGPT, this new way of searching, uh, conversing with an AI chatbot to find information. And many in the industry feel this is the biggest threat to Google search to date. Even will be talks about it later on. Um, but we actually think the biggest threat to Google is TikTok search. Since mid-2023, TikTok themselves have started really aggressively positioning themselves as a search engine, investing in a massive above-the-line campaign, rolling out more and more search functionalities on the app to encourage people to use the app for that reason. Um, and up until then, they had really nailed the entertainment and the social side of things. We're going to do another little poll, so we'd love to see out of interest how many of you have actually used TikTok uh, for search purposes. Let's move out of the way. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Okay, so a good mix. Mostly <laughs> leaning towards yes. <laughs> so hi everyone, I'm Mikey. Um, so as we know, um, Gen Z are the biggest, uh, biggest cohort of users on TikTok. Um, and research shows that they're the fastest adopters of TikTok as a search engine. Um, so yeah, we wanted to go out and see what Gen Z in Ireland actually think. Uh, so where better to find a flock of Gen Zers than in Trinity College? Uh, so here's what we learned. <laughs> Um, yeah, I swear I'm not scared of Gen Zers, and I was kind of standing like this <laughs> with the microphone. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are really interesting insights in there. Uh, you'll have seen like people are using TikTok to search for a broad range of products and services, and this goes a lot deeper than you might think. Uh, you might be sitting there thinking, maybe my brand is a bit too niche for TikTok, they're not on there, uh, but you'd be surprised to learn that there's pretty much a talk for everything uh, on the platform. Uh, an example of this is one of our clients does carpet cleaning. Um, so we wanted to do a bit of keyword research to see how many people were searching. Uh, so we went onto Google first, and we saw that around 30,000 people were searching for carpet cleaning each month. Uh, but when we went to TikTok, we were able to see that there's actually 15,000 searches happening there. I mean, it's actually trending faster than Google. Um, and if you have a look at the, the search engine's results page on TikTok, you can see that there's already a lot of carpet cleaning brands there and ranking for uh, those search terms. And what we're seeing a lot of businesses doing today is they're spending a lot of time, resources, and money um, into uh, kind of ranking for those 30,000 keywords on Google, but they're completely under-investing in those 15,000 uh, searches that are happening on TikTok. So it's a huge kind of missed market share happening. Uh, another thing that also came out on our uh, Trinity research was that the reason why a lot of people are going to TikTok for search as opposed to Google is for the informative and easily digestible short form video content, uh, which makes sense. You know, young people and really everyone uh, these days is consuming a lot of video content every day, spending hours and hours on it. So it only makes sense that this shift in kind of how we consume entertainment would also then lead to a shift in how we consume search. Um, and I guess the reason why these people are spending you know, 13 hours a week on TikTok is due to its powerful algorithm. So TikTok has a hyper-personalized algorithm that kind of reads all of your behavior and tracks it on the app so that it serves you content that you want to see more of. Um, and this is what sucks you in and keeps you scrolling for hours and hours on end. Um, and this algorithm is also really good at amplifying trends. Um, and this can also lead to an amplification of search trends as well. Um, a perfect example of this is the Stanley Cup. Uh, so this was a recent craze on TikTok. They're a 110-year-old brand um, that kind of went viral overnight on TikTok. 
Uh, but this didn't happen by accident. Uh, there's a lot of really high profile influencers creating content about the Stanley Cup. Um, and that's, this kind of caused a cascade of other content uh, being created by uh, users, uh, which is kind of going everywhere. Um, and this surge was driven by the algorithm. Kind of TikTok's algorithm was push, pushing this product far and wide, uh, causing more and more people to, to be interested in Stanley. Um, and this wasn't self-contained TikTok. People were going over to Google to search and purchase Stanley products after they'd seen the popularity um, on TikTok. Uh, you might have also seen the video on, uh, about Stanley going around of how someone burned down their car and their Stanley Cup survived with ice still intact on the inside. Um, so this is kind of goals for a, a business and it's kind of a really good example of content that goes viral overnight. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and burn down cars just to get popular on TikTok, but it's a really good example of uh, the kind of content that works well. Great. So with TikTok becoming more powerful as a search engine each day, we knew at Wolfgang we start, need to start taking TikTok SEO seriously. Um, and it's our, our job on the SEO team to understand how search engines rank content. So the social team came knocking on our door to try to help them figure that out. And, uh, you know, let's be honest, SEO doesn't have the reputation of being the sexiest channel <laughs> out there. Um, social definitely holds that crown, but uh, for the first time ever, SEO gets in with the cool kids now, with TikTok <laughs> SEO. Um, so how did we do this? Um, those of you who do SEO with us might be familiar with the three pillars of Google SEO. Experience, which is the tech SEO side, authority and relevance, which is the content side. So we figured this would be a logical place to start to try and think, okay, what similarities can we draw from Google SEO and the algorithm there? Or what differences can we call out and figure out what do we need to do to optimize for TikTok SEO? So really the first one there straight off the bat experience, which is really around optimizing and building your website to rank on Google search. Uh, we knew straight off the bat, we didn't really need to focus here because TikTok does that for you. You don't have to build a website. It houses your content on your profile. So happy days, because it's definitely the most painful pillar. Um, <laughs> relevance, obviously that's the content side. So that's definitely the most important side for TikTok. And it's a very difficult one to, to master, but it's definitely the most important. Then authority, how, how authoritative or trustworthy is your brand in the eyes of Google and the user, or a search engine and the user. Um, we knew also there was a bit of a difference here in terms of Google SEO and TikTok SEO. Because um, TikTok is a social media platform at the end of the day. You're building up followers to your profile. There's lots of metrics that can be measured uh, with engagement of your content that don't exist on Google search. So we kind of figured there's a bit of a cheat code here that we could fast track these authority metrics um, by running uh, you know, paid promotion and paid ads on TikTok, which Mikey will talk you through a little bit more in detail later on. Um, so yeah, we decided to swap out experience for promotion, and there was the birth of SEO Shul, our love child. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool, so now that we kind of nailed down our pillars and know what our SEO Shul strategy entailed, we wanted to take it out for a test drive for one of our clients. Uh, so this is Body Slim, so they're an online weight loss program. And if you were here last year, you'll know I was also up here talking about Body Slim, so you're not having deja vu. Um, so yeah, the reason why we went with SEO Shell for Body Slim was simply down to search demands. We had a look on TikTok, um, and we could see that there were over 200,000 searches for weight loss keywords each month um, on TikTok. So it made perfect sense uh, for Body Slim to start capturing that demand. Uh, so to go through the, the pillars that Kayla mentioned, so we started with relevance, and really this is the most important pillar for TikTok SEO, because TikTok is a content first platform. Uh, so how we went about this, so just like your Google SEO strategy, uh, we carried out lots of keyword research to see what people were searching. Uh, we also did hashtag research, which is something you don't do on Google, but hashtags actually do impact your ranking, we found, so we wanted to build this in as well. Um, we then kind of compiled all of that down into a content calendar, prioritizing the kind of highest value uh, search terms that we wanted to rank for first. Um, and as I mentioned, content's so important. TikTok themselves say to make TikTok not ads. And this is even more important for SEO show because TikTok are the ones that are gonna be ranking your content. So you wanna make sure that your content is native. Um, a really good way to do this is tapping into trends, seeing you know, what, is the, what are the top uh, ranking posts for your search term and kind of trying to uh, put your own spin on that um, to, to you know, show TikTok that it's relevant. Um, and then obviously really important is to make sure that your content features the keyword that you want to rank for. 
uh, in the ad copy, in the text overlay, and even in the audio as well. And this just really makes it easy for TikTok to match your piece of content with the keyword that you want to rank for. So coming to authority then, so as Caitlin mentioned, you don't have a website, uh, but what you do want to build authority for is your profile itself. Um, and kind of metrics that we would look at as maybe vanity metrics, like followers and post likes, these are really important for TikTok SEO because these are the types of metrics that show TikTok that your content is relevant and that you're an authority uh, on your chosen topic and that you know what you're talking about. Um, and yeah, I guess the, the third pillar of SEO, which is promotion, kind of gives us a cheat code for this. Um, you know, building authority on Google is quite a long and arduous process, as any SEOers will know. Um, but on TikTok, by promoting content for uh, metrics like engagement, um, we can kind of you know, fast track that process and really speed up the amount of people seeing your, your content and speed up the building of authority on your profile so that TikTok more quickly sees you as an authority. Uh, this also goes to your content as well. Um, on Google, you can't promote your content, or you can't promote your content on Google Ads, but it's not going to affect your ranking. Uh, on TikTok, if you promote your content for engagement, it will really quickly show uh, TikTok that that content is relevant and will kind of speed up the ranking process. Uh, so, kind of looking at, at how that looks in action, so we create our highly relevant piece of search uh, content. We then amplify that content with paid promotion. And that content then goes on to rank on not only on TikTok, but we were also seeing Google pull TikToks into the SERP as well. Uh, so we kind of got multiple uh, touch points of visibility. So looking at some of the kind of key results we saw from the campaign, uh, obviously the first one being that we were achieved kind of multi-channel visibility. So that no matter what channel someone went to search for uh, body sims content or the non brad keywords we want to rank for, we were actually present there. Uh, we also saw TikTok visibility impact our Google search as well. So brand searches actually peaked uh, during um, our TikTok SEO campaign. Uh, so just like the Stanley Cup, Body Sims also saw a surge on Google thanks to our TikTok strategy. Um, and then uh, research shows that 29% of people go to TikTok to search for brands currently. And the results for Body Sims definitely kind of reinforce this. Uh, we were seeing that 8,000 people were going to uh, TikTok monthly to search for body sims, which might be surprising to some of you that there's that much volume there, um, but there was. And because we'd invested in a TikTok content strategy, when someone searched for our brand, we had content present and ready there. It's really important to remember that if you're not on TikTok right now and if you don't have content there, if someone searches for your brand, you're either not going to be there or other people are going to be talking about your brand for you. So it's really important that you invest in this now. Um, and it's really easy to find out if there are searches there for your brands today. Um, the next step for this is TikTok search ads. Um, so this is kind of fresh off the press. Um, we're going to be able to bid on keywords uh, on TikTok, um, similar to what we can do on Google Ads currently. So we see this as you know, a next big step in TikTok being a true competitor to Google on search. Great. So um, what can you guys be doing now to prepare for the age of SEO show? Um, as Mikey showed, investing in this strategy not only increases your TikTok visibility, but also your Google visibility. So really the first thing here is to stop looking at your social and search strategy in silo and integrating them to navigate this new way of search. Um, and how you can do this is through content unification, like what body, Mikey showed of Body Slims. And that's really having a consistent content strategy across all the different search touch points that your target audience are on. The other key reason to start SEO Social now is that Gen Z are the ones that are driving this behavior. And from, for some of you here, Gen Z pop may not be your priority audience or they may not be in your target audience at all yet, but one day they will be looking for home insurance and pensions and accounting software, <laughs> shout out to zero. <laughs> um, so yeah, you may as well set, up, set yourself up for success now because this is how they're gonna be finding brands and looking for information on what they're gonna purchase. So, at the end of the day, social is becoming more search, and search is becoming more social. So, welcome to the age of SEO. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>